Hey everyone's Dave here and welcome to Arksmith Overview. I don't think I've ever been that confused about the release so far and there's not much info about it as well. You know, it is one of the tactics of just releasing games, not creating hype and just being so confident in your own project that it will succeed no matter what. So we'll have to see. So Arksmith seems to be like a crafting simulator. The premise is that you're building electronic parts for Din in space and help him in whatever his goals are. I don't think we've ever had like a standalone tinkering game Game. Usually mechanics like that were just an additional feature in some other bigger titles, but nothing like by itself. Believe it or not, I actually have a degree in mechatronics, which this game maybe will prove that I shouldn't have, but building mechanical parts should be like my thing, even though I'm a cook nowadays by profession. I'm not even sure if it's something that's gonna interest me. It seems to have some kind of storyline, which is fun. I'm always down for some campaign. Just the concept itself is like so out of place. You're in space, you're building electronical machines, and Besides that, there's nothing, at least from the trailer and stuff. It's even gonna be weird to judge its gameplay. It is one of the kind, so like kudos to the originality, but I don't know if it's even in the correct direction. <laughs> to be fair, it is intriguing because it's mysteriously hopping on the official store, even though we have no info about it. I'm happy to use my degree and build some intricate systems because I'm not gonna do it in real life, but maybe in VR it's gonna be my success story. I guess, let's see what it's about. Um... <laughs> June says you need a fresh start. Says that working here'd be good for you. But for me too, maybe. Company? Yeah, maybe. It's been a while. Not a lot of visitors down here. At least I got you, Thule. Lonely. I'm Din. Corinth Din. I used to be an Arksmith. Retired. I don't do that. Who thinks I should? Then maybe you can help me. You got experience? I have a degree. I thought as much. They're a bit scrawny too, <laughs> even by human standards. Impolite. Yeah, you're right. I apologize. I'm tired. I need some shut eye. So, uh, let me give you a job, see what you can do. Adding it to your monitor. <laughs> Only job on there. Make me a radio. Last one uh, broke. Expelled. Yeah, out an airlock. <laughs> Didn't like the song. I'll be over there if you need me, kid. Use those arcs. They'll let you manipulate parts without risking those fragile human fingers of yours. <laughs> But that's a quite a vain direction. Shop radio. We're a workbench unpowered. Radio receivers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have all of parts with I beam and grab them using the palm trigger. Start building the shop radio by touching parts via their connection points. Mm hmm. This is switching the power and stuff. I'm like thinking what's going on. Here's the thing. Later, when the power bench power is on, you can't touch or detach parts. Yeah, that's the key. Check the requirements for a radio. I mean, something is working. Oh, overheated? <laughs> Speaker underpowered by two. So this piece is like powering up both of those. Not. <laughs> to find out how much power each part needs or provides, use the readout. Radio receiver. Receives radio signal, draws a minimum of 2 power. Point the readout at the power generator. You will see that it outputs 4 power to the assembly, while the speaker and radio receiver only use 2. Attach all 3 parts together to proceed. Radiators will fix our heat problem by absorbing and removing some heat that parts generate. Here we go. Radiators can be attached anywhere in assembly, but are most effective when closer to the parts that generate heat. Okay, so receiver and speaker should be on top of each other then. Seems like things are under the control. Oh! What? What? Really? said make a radio. I did not say shake the bulkheads off. Uh, 
trouble. Should, should feel terrible. You should run right back to June and tell him you got fired instantaneously on the spot. Just wanted a little chunk of peace. I wanted to putt around in my cozy workshop. Look out at the planet and try to try to keep myself to myself. No. Like I said, peaceful. Tired. Not just because of the interruption. I'm tired because I'm tired. Inspect. Eh, uh, give it over here. Decent. It's simple. To do the job nicely. Ugly. Door I forbid you use a little symmetry here and there. <laughs> Don't swear. A weakness of creatures like me. Flesh, blood. Mostly. <laughs> yeah, oh, mostly. Bye. <laughs> I think Thule likes you, kid. Keep going. Think something else. It's a good start. Go further. Afterwards, you can go back up to June. I don't do this kind of work anymore. It's dangerous. You never know which monster you're gonna wake up next. Alert. What? Alert. Don't press any buttons, kid. Rerouting to my pitch. Uja. Must be from that ship over there. Uh, we don't get many visitors around here anymore. Simple job from the looks of it. Except. It's been a while. But a few credits could come in handy. The kid seems eager. <laughs> Very. Is that right? <laughs> you eager to impress me, kid? Maybe just eager to be busy. Look at that. Poised and ready to go. <laughs> we got a wannabe arcsmith in our midst. Apprentice? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. If you want this job, kid, do it. Like I said, simple stuff. I'll send it to you later. This isn't an apprenticeship, though. Tully's just getting excited. This workshop is closed. You weren't here. I'd have deleted this job already. It's quiet. That's how I like it. I love that we have radio and now the music is playing in the background. Like the game changes while you're progressing. anti mandate holder. What the hell is this? You can order parts from the review room menu as you need them. Oh, so it's not like we get everything ready, we actually have to know what to do. Power use 2, heat capacity 10, heat output 1. We need power generator for sure. I guess really it's all right. Things? Fine. Power discharges are special parts that can optionally draw one power. If a donator is providing more than it's necessary, discharges can accept the overflow. Okay, so we can't have an overflow. We have to have like an exact number of power use. I should know that actually. <laughs> Attack discharges to the antimatter. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Okay, power used to heat. What the? Discharge overheated. Maybe I'll just attach to the bottom. Then I'll have two radiators. Here? Yeah, it's not overheating, but it has free power for some reason. 11 minutes later. I think I'm good. Basically what I did is that I stack up two radiators because I had to remove two power cycles from the antimatter holder and then one radiator is responsible for one part to not overheat. So I had to stack two to dissipate one power and then the second power with another radiator and seems like it's stable, so... Yeah. 
pretty much good. Must be a lot of souls on that ship to need all these jobs doing. Credits. I don't like it. Told you, kid. I don't do this work anymore. I'm retired. Done. Why? You know why, Tuli. You were there. Look, it's nothing personal. You're doing okay, kid. This life isn't for me anymore. I don't Smith. I'm not starting up again just because June made you his next little project. Kind. He's not kind. He meddles. He's meddled in the life of this kid, and he's meddled in mine, too. <laughs> Always has. I don't do this anymore. What are you, an interrogation unit? We aren't a workshop anymore. This work of ours has consequences. Again, I'm sorry. You walked in looking for something to do. There isn't a job here. You sure? Customers. Medical scanner. Well, we'll stop here. Hard to tell, really. Essentially, we're unlocking like the storyline and what's going on and stuff by just completing the missions and doing those puzzles. As I thought, nothing else, pretty much. The part itself is like you keep building and then they tend to like detach by itself, just randomly. See? It should be attached. The mechanics aren't like consistent. It can get annoying while attaching and then it disassembles by itself so the devs have to like fix essentially the basics of it to have like a fluid experience this arm kind of helps it because it keeps in one place so it's like more stable other than that not much is going on i don't know if for the price it's like really a lot of content maybe like later we'll have you know more puzzles stuff like that but like other than just what you see we won't get like much complicated things but i love that mechanic that whatever you create like it stays here like this radio <laughs> i mean i'm interested what happened the puzzles and intricate as well like this antimatic holder took me like 10 minutes at least and i have a degree in electronics so you can tell how bad i am <laughs> hard to tell if we're gonna continue it i mean it is something different and it seems rather intuitive to get into so i'll think about it but for now pretty cute but i feel like it could be much more